The ANC Chair in Swani, Dr. Hosi Maipa, is calling for the resignation of Swani Mayor Stevens Mukhalapa amid an alleged sex scandal between him and MMC Sheila Sinkubuche. Maipa is also threatening to take legal action against officials implicated in the Oregon property scandal. This emerged in an audio clip widely circulated on social media where the pair can also be heard discussing fellow colleagues. The ANC Chair in Swani joins us now in the studio. Very good evening to you, Dr. Maipa, and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, uh, Tepiso, and thank you for having us on your show. So, <coughs> I, I'm quite intrigued by, you've named it, Sex in the City. Some have uh, claimed that there is uh, intimacy that is heard in the conversation. Why are you so blatant about what you believe is going on? How certain are you that that is the extent of things, that the intimacy actually um, developed or resulted in a sexual act? Look, first of all, uh, uh, we don't want to discuss the detail on the intimacy and so on. That is a private matter. But you matter. have. What did the by, ANC... By labeling it sex in the city, you certainly put it out there. You weren't coy about it. Yes, what the ANC has done is that it took the audio to an audio expert who said to us this is authentic. Um, and the way uh, uh, audio devices in that room at the particular time... Audio and visual or just audio? Uh, for now, we only received the audio. Uh, we heard about other things, but we're not going to discuss Did you them. not receive a visual um, evidence? No, we only received the audio like all the other South Africans. We heard that there are other things, but I mean, we are not here to discuss things we don't have yet. But to be fair, Dr. Maya, but we've just had a conversation where you say you are certain um, that um, you've received, in fact, evidence there of that more went on than meets the eye. No, what we have seen and what we have heard is an audio that came for about 20 odd minutes. What we have done is that we have taken it to an expect. What we want uh, to say is that we are disappointed as the African National Congress that mm. um, members of the executive of the city were engaged in such activities. But we are saying as the as ANC... You guys are saying that they actually engage in sexual intercourse and municipal business. And you've just used the term what we have seen, suggesting that there is something visual that lays testament to the statements that you're putting out there. Perhaps, perhaps uh, let me put context. What we have heard and seen, we have, because we have seen the mayor and the, and the person concerned, the lady concerned, MMC on TV, on, on, on news yesterday. So what we have seen the mayor say mm -hmm. and what we have heard, we can put correlations because the mayor was very nervous. The mayor, I mean, the body language, a lot of people spoke about it even on Twitter. What we are saying as the ANC is that there's a disappointment mm. uh, that even at this point, the executive mayor with all cocktail of problems in the city of Tuane decided to engage in unsavory activities to promote other things than promoting service delivery in the city. You'd remember that the mayor represents actually the ethical moral high ground of the city in terms of how we do things. But we believe that this audio has put the city into disrepute. Now, the DA has, in fact, lost the ethical moral high ground as a result of this. You, as the ANC, have made some very interesting allegations as well. The mayor has himself said that this is a subject of a blackmail scheme, that there are people within the council who have been trying to uh, force them into nefarious activity. But you have actually fingered what you say is the white caucus within the DA of being responsible for not only engineering the Tates, but of leaking them. Why? So, so would remember that in 2018 we exposed the Red Africa scandal. All the files, all the information that we have presented as evidence were given by the Black Caucus because the Black Caucus was fighting with the White Caucus. It's a turn of the White Caucus now that... Uh, you're extrapolating that or you know this for sure? We know this for a fact. I mean, we are, we are the ones... We are the ones in Tuani who have come with the term and actually characterized the DA into black and white caucus. And it panned out exactly the same. Solim Simanga was a member of the white caucus. He was removed by the black caucus. Mm. Uh, uh, the, the current gentleman, uh, the, the, the disgraced uh, executive mayor, is a member of the black caucus. So now the white caucus is fighting back. There's a, there are problems in the DA where they have a number of problems that have engulfed them of racism. Everybody knows that. That's why we have characterized it correctly as black and white yeah, caucus. Honest, Secondly... Mm -hmm. There is a problem of corruption in the DA in the city of Tuani on Oracon, on the scandals of Dead Africa, and many other scandals okay, we'll get, and we'll get appointments to and so on. in just a moment. So, uh, did the White Caucus, as you call it, provide you with the audio visuals to substantiate the claims that you made that they were indeed having sex in municipal buildings? Look, the ANC at first, as I said to you, we did not have 
this audio was submitted to it was given to us we did not produce the the audio what happened is that our sources that came and provided it was sent to me as well on my phone you know whatsapp is that they said the sources in the da asked that they transmit the audio and you okay? believe this no, we believe it. Why we don't have to believe it? Because we know the problems in the D. We are in the council. Mm. We see how the DA White and Black Caucus okay. are fighting. I mean, we can tell you now, because another thing that confirms this is what is said in the audio. There is an MMC, uh, uh, first of all, the second office bearer, highest in the city, the speaker, the mayor and the lady, they, they said she's a witch. Secondly, the MMC of uh, finance, they said she is a problem, a uh, baby doll, because she is exposing dead Africa and so on. The uh, 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 leader of government business, Richard Moeta, is said not to be reading documents. I mean, this is the person who must push all the things that are decided in council, who is second to the mayor in council. Third, uh, uh, fourthly, they talk about the big head, which is the former mayor, Solim Simanga. So we know that there are problems and factions of the DA, what and black that are fighting. Of so it's not coming from us. Down. I mean, there is a body of evidence. It's not just because of the audio. Starting from last year in terms of the cocktail of corruption that is happening in the city. I mean, there's malfeasance, maladministration in the city of Tuan. Everybody knows that. The AG confirmed that the Africa, uh, Dread Africa scandal was, in fact, an irregular contract. I mean, that is fact now. Uh, we have said and we have exposed that, in fact, Ms. Sheila... Uh, uh, Ms. Led Africa, uh, Sinkubuke, she's the person who paid the head department, paid the highest to Led Africa. They so, paid 141 million so in one month laying, in March 2018. So when you're laying criminal charges with the Hawks, whom will it be against and um, what will be the charges? Remember, our charges are, have to do with Oracle. Yes, I understand. Yes, but that is not that is not the issue now. You are asking me about the tape, or now you are at Erico. Well, we have now moved on to Erico because okay, you've mentioned fine. both because you've called on him to resign as a result of both. So this is why I'm put, putting. Let's just tape. explain to you what is going on with the Oracle scandal. There is a lady, uh, Zania Lambert. She was a former deputy director in the city of Tuane, working together with a lady called Verusha Morgan, who is the head of the Department of Property. The lady, the city appoints Oracon on the 20th of April. She, this is, she sits on the panel, on the letter that is uh, given to Oracon, she's mentioned and is a contact person. A month later, she resigns, go and become a consultant at Oracon. Uh, Oracon is paid upstream. 6.4 million before the SLA is signed. You'll know MFMA that you only get paid when work is done and SLA is signed. Upstream before that, on the 26th of uh, uh, June, 6.4 million gets advanced to Oracon before it starts working. 24 August, Oracon signs the SLA. Now you tell me if that is not corruption. So we are going to lay a charge that the lady actually threw a, a javelin for herself to go out of the city and go and do work at Oracon. The SLA that was signed, Section 17, and in particular, 17.3.4 of that SLA, says that the city... Uh, <clears throat> is prohibiting Oracle to hire subcontractors and other people without or authorization. Now, this is clearly an act of corruption done by this in the city of Tuan. The total assets uh, that are a motivation for the scope of work are worth 18 billion okay. rands. And now, uh, what more do you want the ANC? And there's correlations be uh, between how Dread Africa was appointed and how All right, Dr. Mayas, been... unfortunately we have run out of time but I do have to ask this very quickly Doctor, uh, you've asked for King Dalin Diabo to be at least granted reprieve so that he can be part of the mourning for the King of Amakosa how exactly are you proposing that this happens? Okay, that is a communication that came from Lituli House. I speak on behalf of Twani, but I can tell you in our African culture, we allow those kind of things so that people can go through the mourning process properly. And I think the ANC is using that context to make sure that we follow our tradition and values. All right, thank you very much for speaking thank you, us, uh, Dr. Hossi Maeba. He is uh, the ANC Twani chairperson. Aldrin? Well, the religious...